Roman numeral one says two A is greater than B plus C. That's not that's not true. Think about it. Now you're given this zero less than A less than B less than C. I said less than D, but there's not a less than D on there, so let me erase that. Come on. Huh. It won't let me do it. So let me just scratch it out. Hold on. There. So zero is less than one, is less than two, is less than three. So here I've got an A, B, and a C. So if I said two times one is two, is two greater than two plus three? No. So that's, ne that's never gonna work. If you tried some other numbers, zero is less than three, is less than four, is less than five, Two times three is six, but four plus five is nine. You see how that's never gonna work? So move on. Roman numeral two says what? C minus A is greater than B minus A. Well, let's look at what's given. You see how it has less than signs? Let's switch it around to where it has greater than signs. So if zero is the smallest number in this inequality, C is the largest. That means C is greater than B, is greater than A, is greater than zero. Now let's make this line look like this one. Let's subtract, let's pull off this first part. C is greater than B and C minus A. If you subtract the same thing from both sides, that's still gonna be true. So Roman numeral two works. And Roman numeral three, says C over A is less than B over A. And that's not true because if you've got fractions that have the same denominator, we know that C is larger than B based on what's given here. So C over A has got to be greater than B over A. For, exact, for example, let's say you have a, denominators are nine. Um, we know C is bigger than we know C is bigger than B, so let's say that's an 8 and a 6. Is 8 ninths less than 6 ninths? No, it's greater than. So this doesn't work. So the only thing that works is clue 2.